Well, the Bridge City man had more than a sinking feeling about sleeping in his bedroom. Yeah, he woke up, stepped through the floor, and he lives in a unit at Cypress Cove Apartments in Bridge City. And Jacqueline Quinn shows us what happened. Concrete just rumble. Like, I could feel that it's cracking. No, it wasn't the rate of gravity that's been changing at James right. Smith's apartment at Cypress Cove in Bridge City. And you can see as it cracks up over here, too. But Monday, when Smith woke up to get ready, he tripped over his Bluetooth speaker on the floor. When I when I went to lift, it wound up crushing it some more. So when it, when it wound up falling in, I caught myself trying to manage myself on the wall. His foot, however, fell into the carpet into a hole caused by crumbling slab underneath. Smith says the fall injured his ankle. That's why he now has a brace and crutches. But it could have been worse. I have a three-year-old daughter. Um, she she's very active, honestly. Fortunately, he says his daughter was not around when the floor collapsed. He recalls the floor has been sinking for some time and notified management when he renewed his lease in July. I feel as if y'all need to sit here and put the money that we give y'all into what y'all sitting here saying is supposed to be going to. Management at the complex didn't go with this on camera, but explained they're aware of the problem and are working on a solution. Smith also tells us his unit has leaky windows and his neighbors have other maintenance problems. However, he wonders how many others may be facing the same problem about the floors and not know it. Like, I feel as if y'all, I know for a fact, Every own company has to meet a meet a certain criteria. I know that. For now, Smith is left worried about sleeping in his own bed at night, hoping the crack in the floor doesn't get worse. In Bridge City, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. Assertive Management Group is the company that runs the apartment complex, and it has more than a thousand units across Louisiana and Texas. We reached out to the community director, and we are still waiting to hear back.